Cop Shop, a film that's um, popped up on streaming there that I have not seen, and I'm just going to do a review on it. Uh, Gerard Butler's in it, and Frank Grillo, um, two famous actors that have done other things uh, in a movie together. Um, the trailer, I, I, I watched the trailer before I actually watched the film, um, and it looked like it was going to be a actionist type film. What it actually is, is mainly uh, centered in a police station uh, with two people locked up and conversations mostly. I mean, there is action more to the back end of the film. Uh, but uh, up to that point, it is honestly boring. <laughs> I mean, the characters are fine. Uh, the characters in it are fine. It's just I find that the pacing is really crawling up until it reaches a certain point. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone that wants to watch it. Um, you do a lot of exploratory stuff. Um, a lot of banter back and forth between Butler and Gorillo as they're kind of in opposite ends of, you know, one's in one cell, one's in the other. Um, the main uh, actress is cool. Uh, she was in, um, I believe, the uh, Black Panther films. Um, so, obviously a different role for her here. Uh, she's actually a really cool character. Uh, I do like her in this. Um, so, the problem I had with it is that, again, it's the pacing. It's it's uh, dragging on scenes of exploratory information. Um, it's not a, a pure action movie at all. Uh, the action, as I said, is at the back end of the film. Uh, when one particular character when one particular character shows up, uh, it picks up a little bit with action stuff. Um, the there's a twist in it, I guess, but it's cliche. Um, the end resolve, I like a lot. Uh, I like the ending a lot. Um, it, kind of does set up for a follow-up film possibly but probably not going to happen um so i i really like the ending uh i like that the characters and the setup and all that it's fine but like i said the issue i have with it is the pacing in between but that uh, that leads up to the action bits near the end i think uh, they they stretch that um a little bit like obviously you want information and what's going on and all that kind of stuff uh but yeah and and, and it's a one watch film for me um it's not a repeat watch um yeah that's really all i can say about this uh it is cool to see butler and grillo in the movie together um They've both done some cool films. Um, I don't know. Give it a watch. See what you think. Uh, yeah. I really can't think of anything else I could say about the film without giving anything away. Um, there is one actor in there that I always find plays a sleazeball or a traitorous type, but yeah. Uh, well, there's nothing else to say about it. No. It's not a, not a long review, this one. Uh, check it out. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much the setup is two individuals get put in separate cells and it kind of goes from there in a police precinct and it, it, the whole movie takes place in the precinct, so it's like a one location type movie. Um, there's the odd time the movie jumps to a, another location just for exploratory reasons, but other than that, 
it takes place all in one one precinct, one place. Uh, mainly the cells. Uh, so there you have it. That is Cop Shop.